Okay, and this um, this is huge. So now, yes, and, this, and this so really, this is big. Uh, we've talked about before. I think the, you know, this is kind of going to be similar or probably bigger, depending on what people do with it, than the FPV out that we talked about before. Um, yeah. And so this so is prevented. What, what, but, what does it mean when we say that the DJI goggles, the DJI Air Unit, and the DJI Vista have been rooted? Let's start there. Yeah. So basically, root access means that you can get down to the lowest level of uh you know of workings on the hardware of the dji uh equipment and so this affects the dji v1 and v2 goggles the air unit and the vista um and so this this uh hack basically uh gives root access to these so that you can do essentially anything you want uh, within reason to the goggles and it gives you so root access to so the lowest level access you need to get in there and do what you want including things like sniffing into the firmware looking at what's already in there um, loading a copy of Doom, which uh, people have. A, uh, there's a Doom that we have actually linked um, that's already put together as a project. You can load onto these. Um, and uh, Doom in your goggles, you know, cute. Yeah, we've we've also got. Um, there's some uh, base core for working off some other stuff called the Frida Core. Um, mm -hmm. It basically implements JavaScript. Um, and stuff like that. So people are already working on this kind of thing. And this is basically a public project. So this is presented. I just want to, uh, you know, so, I wanna... so this is real quick, real quick. I just want to yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So this is by Junus. I just want to shout him out the same guy. Oh yeah, for um, sure. Who, who did the FPV out, um, the, 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 what you call it? The magic bite, the magic bit, mm -hmm. uh, so that he could get the code on FPV out. He also, uh, pioneered this work along with some of the other guys on this project. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to give them a shout out. So that's going to be TMB Inc. Uh, binary with a four. So B I N four R Y Janook, who's a know it all in, in your Discord. Oh, nice. Um, funnel and Fichek. And they all helped out with this. Um, with the, they're the FPV WTF group. And they, yeah, they were able to get this all out for you. So. Uh, I, the, uh, the point that I want to make is that uh, got me so excited about this. When when uh, we got the FPV out hack, right, that let us get USB video out, um, that was a big deal. But basically, someone just looked at the data that the goggle was sending to the smart controller and, like, decoded it and figured out how to make an app that pretended to be the smart controller. That's basically all they're doing. So that was they a, were like... They were like, hey, this goggle's yelling at this device, and then the device is yelling back. So let's see if we can pretend like we're that device. That was the idea there. So, yeah, kind of a simpler idea, like a more mm -hmm. base-level idea. Yeah. This hack is far more far more sophisticated um, because it, it's giving them full access to the operating system. And, and one of the things, well, I was like, well, okay, so, like, you would assume that all the data would just be, like, encoded and encrypted. But, in fact, once they get the root access they're kind of just playing around in an Android phone on some, it, like yeah. it's an Android operating system, isn't it? I believe they use Android NDK. Yeah, uh, DJI does. So now that they have access to that, they can get access to that file system. Um, you know, they're already, um, you know, going in there and manually editing some of the, 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 the messages and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you can get into the, some of the basic files and stuff. Um, also, I know that they're going to release some more information on this, uh, on this page here on Margarin, which is the name of this project. Um, you know, they're going to, they're going to put out information about like how you can do some more of this information, basically how you can also dual boot and try boot these goggles. So you can get into your normal firmwares along with these extra hack firmwares. Um, mm -hmm. and it does basically seem like this will be the outlet for people to do anything you want. Like this is kind of an open developer platform for and what, this, this piece. Basically. What's cool about this to me, like UAV tech says canvas mode, finally. And I, I thought that. But then I thought, like, if you were to give me access to the firmware of, you know, my, my, my camera or my car, like, I wouldn't know where to begin with it. Like, it may, be, it may be completely proprietary, you know? And what I'm hearing is that many of the things that they have access to now are not completely proprietary in a way that would prevent them. Like, maybe you could actually implement canvas mode. Yeah. That's not implausible. A hundred percent. Yeah, I don't think that's implausible at all. It just depends on the, basically what developers can get a hold of this, how much they can glean out of the current like piece apart firmware. Like I talked to Junus yeah. a little bit about it, and he seemed like there was pretty good access, and it just needs somebody to dig through it and try to figure out exactly how the like reverse engineer work. shit. 
Um, yeah, it's possible you could remove the hard limit. Um, that's on, you know, that's the timing limit on the DJI goggles that so may affect the other parts of the system. Maybe we can find yeah. out what that is and why, you know, that yeah. would also be interesting I mean, to see. On some level, there may be things that are difficult to change. There may be like very deep driver level stuff that's encoded uh, or maybe even encrypted that they don't have access to. Um, but there's a whole lot of potential here to modify this system in a way that is extremely exciting. But, uh, yeah. but if you update your firmware, you don't get to play the game anymore. So don't yes. update your firmware. <laughs> Yeah, and currently the latest Air Unit and Vista firmware do work correctly, and the V1 goggles work correctly. But V2 goggles, if you're going to do those, those are not going to work correctly. Also, I, we didn't mention them, just so you know, if you have the V2, if you have the drone, and you go onto your app, your DJI Fly app, mm -hmm. and then you connect to your drone, it's going to ask you to force the update. So um, even if you normally don't, you know, want to do the update, so make sure that um, you know you're not connecting your phone to DJI. And then to that DJI Fly app, and then plugging that into the drone. If you do, yeah. there are reports that on iPhone you can disconnect from the internet, force quit, and relaunch the app, and it will not mm. force the update. But that mm. does not work on Android. So gotcha. Uh, just okay. But yeah, try not to do that. All right. Well, currently, all you can do is download Doom and play it on your goggles. Of course, you can. But there's a uh, there's a lot of potential here for for interesting stuff. We'll see. And and the real joke, Blunty is that now DJI is going to deliver one killer feature that makes yeah. everybody upgrade. That's that's yeah. like, I would put money that now that there's a route, DJI will give us canvas mode or something well, that we want. Or or they're just going to push an update that prevents rollback, that tricks people into roll, and then eventually slowly everybody gets it. You know, Well, that too, but I'm not, I'm not plugging my goggles yeah. in ever again. <laughs> I 100% agree with you. I, but I, what yeah, if, like... No what if they just start shipping shipping air units with a new uh, firmware and sure. now you keep yeah. getting you must update your your firmware message every time you try to fly yeah, like it's definitely possible yeah like if i was dji but, that's the first thing i would it, do is i would start but, shipping with the with the upgraded firmware sure upgraded. but i will say i think the handshake you know maybe somebody could correct me that actually knows but i believe the handshake intuitively it would be the other way so the goggles check and make sure the firmware is correct to allow the video from the from the air unit probably I don't know that there's a shake the other way. So I mean, if, if they don't match, you get a warning. Well, right, but you could fake the match on the goggles if you have access to Ooh, the firmware. You're right. Damn. Yeah. All right. This is exciting. We'll see what happens in, yeah. at some point in the future.